Since World War II, no event has played a larger role in shaping Alaska's economy than the discovery of the Prudhoe Bay oil fields on the North Slope. This discovery, combined with the subsequent construction of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline, have over their lifetimes enabled the creation of billions of dollars of wealth and hundreds of thousands of jobs. But the face of global energy demand is changing and many projections now show that global oil demand could peak in the next 20 years. To understand the impact the energy transition might have on the Alaska economy, we first have to understand the fundamentals of how regional economies grow in general. Oil production is Alaska's largest basic private sector industry. Basic industries in the field of economics refer to goods and services that are exported to markets outside Alaska, and in turn, they bring new money into Alaska. Non-basic industries, on the other hand, meet local needs by providing goods and services such as food, entertainment, healthcare, or utilities. Non-basic industries don't bring new money into the economy, but they do stop money from leaking out of the economy. You may have heard that Alaska's economy is like a three-legged stool. That's because one third of all basic industry activity comes from oil production. Another third comes from federal government spending. And the final third is every other basic industry, fishing, tourism, mining, and air cargo, to name a few. These three legs support all of Alaska's non-basic industries. One reason that oil has been such an important economic driver is the sizable tax and royalty contributions it makes to state and local governments. But this is a double-edged sword. When oil prices fall, both our private and our public sectors contract. So if the energy transition is threatening one leg of Alaska's economy, what role can public policy play in stabilizing our economic stool? First, we can diversify our state's sources of revenue to make us less dependent on volatile commodity prices. We've taken one important step in this direction by utilizing the earnings from the Permanent Fund, but there are other steps we can take as well. But more broadly, both our basic and our non-basic industries benefit from access to low-cost energy, high-quality infrastructure, a healthy, educated, and skilled workforce, and safe and vibrant communities. For more information about Alaska's energy issues and trends, access the full Alaska's Changing Arctic Report at this link.